Hello and welcome back to Mr. Riley's Maths videos. And this is a coordinate geometry of the line video. And where that line cuts the x axis. So this is the x axis, remember the horizontal axis. And can you find where it cuts the y axis, which is this axis here? Okay, the vertical axis. So and how to find the y-intercept, which is where a line cuts the y-axis. So let's just look at the x-axis here, first of all. Here's the x-axis. line cuts that axis. That means that it goes through the axis at a particular point. Okay, so let's pick this line. It's the x-axis here, doesn't it? It goes through the x-axis here. You can see where it goes through there. It goes through at x equals 2. Look at the line. Now, what else do we know about the point x equals 2? Well, it has to have a y-coordinate. So what is the y-coordinate? If it's on the x-axis, then it's directly opposite 0 on the y-axis. So y equals 0. And if we pick any point on the x-axis, this point here, that point there is 4, 0. If you pick this point over here, this point over here is minus 4, 0. If you pick this point here, it's minus 2, 0. This one here is minus 1, 0. This one here is 1, 0. Any point on the x-axis has a y-coordinate of 0. So the x-intercept, the y equals 0. And we'll use that information in a moment to find out where the line cuts the x-axis. Let's just go through that again first, though. Here's a line. It's cutting the x-axis. Where it cuts the x-axis, there's a point that is x equals 2. But every point has two parts to it, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. We know the x equals 2. And what we found is that the 2 there is directly opposite the 0 on the y-axis, so the y-coordinate is 0. And we found that all these other points that are also on the x-axis also have a y-coordinate of 0. So we can say that wherever a line cuts the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. And we can use that to find out where it cuts the x-axis. So here's an example. x plus y equals 5. So it cuts the x-axis. We've just said y equals 0. And go back, if you've forgotten now why y equals 0, go back and have a look. If y equals 0, if you remember from our previous video about a point being on a line and what the equation of a line does, if this equation is x plus y equals 5, but I know that the y number of a point is 0, so here's my point, I know the y is 0, and I want to find the x, then what I do is I put that y, which is 0, in instead of y x plus 0 equals 5. So if x plus 0 equals 5, that means x is equal to 5, which means that this line x plus y equals 5 cuts the x-axis, in other words, where y equals 0, it cuts the x-axis at x equals 5. So it cuts the x-axis at 5, 0. Okay, here's in bone 4x minus 2y equals 6. Where it cuts the x-axis, y equals 0. Now again, we have a point, in other words, on this line, some point where it cuts the x-axis and the y value is 0. Okay, we're trying to find this number here. What's there instead? What's there for the x? So we go to our equation. We know that the rule for this equation is that 4x minus 2y equals 6, but we know that y is 0. So 4x minus 2 by 0 equals 6. All I've done there is I've put y equals 0 in where the y is in my equation. Now, in my equation, the y gets multiplied by 2. So I've got 0 multiplied by 2. Remember, anything multiplying by 0 gives me 0. So 4x must equal 6. 4x minus 0 equals 6, so 4x equals 6. So x is equal to whatever 6 divided by 4 is, which is 1.5. So what we found out is that the place where this line, 4x minus 2y equals 6, cuts the x-axis, the y equals 0, 
and the x equals 1.5. Okay, how about this one? Where does this cut the x-axis? Where it cuts the x-axis, y equals 0. So where it cuts the x-axis, y equals 0. So let's see, this is my equation. I know I've got the 0 part of the point. I've got the y part of the point. I need the x. x minus 5y equals 10. x, I know that 0 is y is 0. So x minus 5 by 0 equals 10. So x minus 0 equals 10. So x equals 10. So where this point x minus 5y equals 10 cuts the x-axis is at 10, 0. And finally, this is a weird one. That's why I've put it in. Where does this line cut the x-axis? It cuts the x-axis y equals 0. But y equals 3x. So 0 equals 3x. But what do I need to multiply by 3 to get 0? I need 0. So it must mean x is equal to 0. So where this line y equals 3x cuts the x-axis is at 0, 0. Okay, so that's where it cuts the x-axis. How about where it cuts the y-axis? Well, let's look at our line up here. At our line up here, this line cuts the y-axis at 3. See it? The line is crossing the y-axis at 3. Okay, so where this line A cuts the y-axis is at y equals 3. Now, y equals 3, what does x equal? Well, let's look at the coordinates of that point. The coordinates of that point are 0, 3. The coordinates of this point, which is also on the y-axis, is 0, 5. The coordinates of this point, which are also on the, is also on the y-axis, is 0, 1. Here's 0, minus 1. Here's 0, minus 2. Here's 0, minus 4. Okay, so you can see that on the y-axis, wherever on the y-axis we are, all those points have something in common. And what's in common is that the x is equal to zero. In fact, the name of the y-axis is x equals zero. The name of the x-axis is y equals zero. So all of these points have an x equals zero. So where a line cuts the y-axis, the x equals zero. And we can use that down here to work out where these lines cut the y-axis. So it cuts the y-axis this time, x equals 0. My equation is x plus y equals 5. But if x equals 0, I know that my point is going to be 0 something. x is 0. So 0 plus y equals 5. So y equals 5. So I know that this line, x plus y equals 5, cuts the y-axis at 0, 5. 4x minus 2y equals 6. We found a minute ago that it cuts the x-axis at 1.50. But where it cuts the y-axis, x equals 0. So 4x minus 2y equals 6. But if x equals 0, in other words, my point is going to be 0 something, then 4 by 0 minus 2y equals 6. 0 minus 2y equals 6. So what I'm going to divide both sides by minus 2. So y is equal to minus 3. So where this line cuts the y-axis is at 0, minus 3. Okay, I've got to hurry up because my battery's running down here. So at this one here, x minus 5y cuts the y-axis. means x equals 0. So x minus 5y equals 10. So I know that the point is 0 something. 0 minus 5y equals 10. Minus 5y equals 10, so divide by minus 5, I've got that y is equal to negative 2. So I've got 0 minus 2 is where this line cuts the y-axis. And finally, y equals 3x, we, we actually know already where it cuts the y-axis. Because y-axis, because x equals 0, and we've already found the point 0, 0. Okay, because... If x equals 0, y is 3 times 0, so y is equal to 0. Okay, I hope that helps. Bye.